So I'm half surprised that Tesla doesn't have a special T bit for Tesla, a $100 proprietary bit. Thank goodness. The thing about doing an alignment on a Tesla is you've got to raise it up to get some panels off before you can get to the alignment. So that's what we're going to do today is raise this sucker up, show you where the panels are. We need to get to this bolt right here to adjust the alignment. So I'm going to take this panel off here. Um, the other ones are pretty easy. Toe is right here. Um, and then one right there that's already accessible. So, uh, you know, I'm gonna argue that let's take this off here in the back. And then just to make life a little easier on alignment tech, we're gonna take this panel off right here. There's really not much that we need to get to. I see the toe arm. Here's my toe arm. So just to make life a little easier, I wanna take out just this piece right here. It's all I need to get out. Um, it's probably not necessary if we got a good tech, but you know, every little bit helps. All right, let's do this. Let's take these off just so they don't get damaged. All right, there you go. Okay, now we're gonna do the front just to again open up a little bit of space here. Not 100% required, but mostly it's pop ribbon around here. It's not going to work. Okay, now we're gonna pop off four. No, six, I'm sorry, six 10 millimeter bolts here. So I'm half surprised that Tesla doesn't have a special T bit for Tesla, $100. <laughs> proprietary bit. Thank goodness. At least here they're using the torch bit which we can get. And uh, this one's a T40. Cool, and this last one it should come crashing down on my head. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Tex will appreciate the heck out of that. Let's go get her aligned. Okay, so now we've got the customer's car up on the rack. We're doing a full four-wheel alignment today. Should only take here about 20, 30 minutes to do the alignment piece. Taking the panels off is what took the most time today. Now we see a close-up view of the alignment sensors. These are sensitive to the ride height of the vehicle. So before beginning the alignment, we need to set the ride height to normal or low. And cautionary note, the only way to lower the vehicle is to close the door and have your foot on the brake. So make sure to do those first. Okay, so here's our boy Paul. He's working on the rear suspension right now. The toe on this one was way out. Customer states that the tires only last 6,000 miles before there was so much wear he had to scrap them. So it was a matter of the toe on both of them being out and uh, my boy Paul here is fixing it right now. The interesting thing to note on this car is that it uniformly has all four tires set with approximately a quarter inch toe in. That's really not good for a Tesla. The only explanation I can think of is I believe the previous owner of this car must have had this car set up for track racing. You see running toe in increases grip and therefore increases acceleration. The downside however of running toe in is that it increases rolling resistance and therefore reduces not only your top speed but also the range of this Tesla. Um, this customer stated that since buying this used car, he primarily drives it long distances at or above freeway speeds. 
and this probably explains why he chewed through a set of four tires in only 6,000 miles. Well, that's all for today, folks. If you found this video helpful, please smash that like button, and more importantly, please subscribe. That's how we make more videos. Until next time, this is Austin EV only.